So another uh, command we have seen is VL. It's to list all the breakpoints. For the breakpoints listed in WinDBG, this is the number of the breakpoints under the status enabled or disabled. And here is the address of the breakpoint. And BC is the command used to remove breakpoints. You can use a number here to specify which commands to remove. And this one is a BC star is used to remove all the breakpoints. And you can also use BD and BE to enable and disable uh, breakpoints. The BD is for disabling and the BE for enabling. You can also renumber breakpoints with br command. The br command will rename uh, breakpoints to a new one. And another useful uh, command is to use ba. Ba is the command to cite breakpoints when one of your uh, variables is execute re read or writing or some IO operations. The four here is the size of the location. Uh, we will have a look of this command. Uh, no command here we is BAR4 target number. First, we will uh, enable the resolve. Okay, let's go on. Uh, seven. Here, when So we cite a read conditional breakpoint for the target number. So we can move on. Every time when target number is right, application will stop at the breakpoint. Target number is a, uh, is a variable here. And let's go on. It's break again, and we can see I have been changed to 3, but tag number is still 12. This is for this is the demo for the breakpoint on XS. Oh, okay, so it's the uh, lesson today. We learned some break, uh, how to use breakpoints in WinDBG.
um, if you have any questions uh, you can go to the home of tester website here and uh, we can learn together and and for some more uh, when dbg commands for some breakpoints uh, investing that that logs or just peer into the memory for your application thank you very much for your time and uh, see you next time and if you have any suggestion be sure to let us know from the home of tester.com you are welcome to contribute and uh, give us feedback thank you Bye-bye, everyone.